Hi, my name is John Humanic. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited you're here. I've got a super powerful prophecy about the state of California that the Lord recently released to me. So stick around for this whole video because it's going to be absolutely amazing. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you already are a member of the channel, feel free to share this video with someone that you know, because it will bless them in amazing ways. So I was in my prayer closet recently and the word of the Lord dropped upon me and God was talking about a topic called a state undone. We know the state of California in this last presidential election voted for Vice President Kamala Harris. And many people are wondering if the state will ever return back to the red state that it was when Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger was there or even back in days when Ronald Reagan was governor there before he became president. So this prophecy is actually talking about that. So I want you to buckle up because it's pretty incredible because God is tired of the state being riddled with deep corruption and lies and transgressions. And so it's really Really important to understand that what he's about to embark upon is absolutely amazing, incredible, and exciting all at the same time. So stick around for this entire video because you're going to know and understand all the things God wants to reveal to you today. So here is the word of the Lord that he has spoken about. And remember, with all prophecy, please take this back to God in prayer because you may not be graced to do the things he's asking his prayer warriors to do, but at the same time, do so and understand that God's got your back. So it starts with, now I call my prayer warriors to battle, especially those living in the state who they are graced to be there. Rise up and pray for your leaders today because I have established my decree and my name. Soon you will see a shift in the spiritual air. The great principality that oversees California will fall by my hand. Rise up, prayer warriors, and intercede for the state, for the people to open their eyes and see the truth, the hope for today, and the greater hope for tomorrow. Arise, stop with the sin of today. Do not look back at yesterday and dwell about the past. The very weapon used against you will be the choice weapon going forward. As David slew Goliath and took the giant's sword as his own, so shall you take the very thing that was used against you towards the spiritual forces working against you. Now rise in prayer, rise in worship, rise in praise, rise in thanksgiving, and retake the state of California for the kingdom of God. Do it in love. Do it in grace. Do it by representing me as my son Jesus did for the people of California. Contend for the lives of my people. Contend for the loss. Some don't have a lot of time. Now arise and retake the land by faith. Let's go. So that's the word that God gave me. And let's go ahead, unpack it a little bit, because if you're new to prophecy, it's going to be a potentially a little bit awkward to understand some of the elements God wants you to do as you pray into the very thing that he wants to release. Now, God has been watching over the state of California, and I remember a great word by Pastor Jonathan Shuttlesworth earlier this year when he was at the three days of revival over in Ruston, Louisiana, with the Kingdom University group that I work with. And one of the most amazing things that he said was, is that God's not done with California. God's not done with New York. God's not done with the states that you think are lost. And at that time, I had completely written them off. And I was like, okay, those are strongholds. They're going to remain that way. But God is greater than even the greatest principality. And so what he's saying here today is that there's a couple elements you have to understand because this is a conditional prophecy because your involvement is required in order for it to come to fruition. God is going to strike down the principality that sits over California. It's done. Done. He's tired of it. You know, we know coming up next year is the year of Jubilee, at least in the Jewish calendar. And so what you're going to see is, is there's going to be some aspect of freedom that comes. But what he wants to do is he wants to partner with his prayer warriors, his children, his sons and daughters to bring a greater level of freedom to the state of California. But it's not done by the worldly means. It's not even, he didn't even talk about the election process. He didn't talk about changing the governor there. He didn't even talk about any of that. That stuff. He says it is by prayer 
It is by praise. It is by thanksgiving. It is by representing me in the person of Jesus Christ as you walk out. Live a life of no sin. Live a life filled with love. Live a life that has praise and honey on your lips everywhere you go, because that's how the kingdom wins over people. It is about winning souls. It is about changing their path. It is about turning them in repentance and walking away from the very thing that ensnares them. And that's what God is saying is the thing that ensnared you will become your weapon of choice. Now, you might be thinking, how is that possible? But the reality is that's actually true in every situation. Think about it from the perspective, if you're caught up in any form of addiction, let's say, let's say alcohol addiction is your vice or maybe pornography. Guess what happens is when you overcome that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you become a minister of the word to those who are now caught in that same addiction. So the very weapon that was meant to destroy you becomes your weapon of choice to go and win back the people to the kingdom of God. That's how the kingdom works, is that all Satan does is he's storing up the wealth of the wicked to be transferred over to the righteous, and the weapons are the same. He's just storing them up to be transferred over. Now, no one wants to live in sin in any way, shape, or form, but the reality is is that we are flesh and we are caught in the sin nature of Adam. But through Christ, we're dead to that whole life and we are now alive in him and allows us to be free from the basically the pangs, the punishment, and the death of the law and now can live a free life. And that's what he's trying to say is, is that you see the people in California suffering under the law. You see them suffering under the problems that they've created for themselves and it just continues to get worse. It's a spiraling effect, but that's where prayer, that's where intercession comes into play because God can move in great power, in great strength into those areas. And he does it with his love. He does it with his joy, his peace, his grace, his hope, because now those people that are caught in this cycle of just addiction, sin, and death, and it just continues to spin, God is saying, I'm going to break them out and move them forward. And that's the essence of what he's looking to do. That's the essence of how God works. That's the essence of what he wants to accomplish with you as a partner in this process. So you know that there's a there's aspects here that God's going to do and then the parts that he's calling you to do. So again, take these things to your prayer closet. See if God wants you to intercede. Because the reality is, is that we can intercede for California even though we don't live there. Although we do know those who live in California are going to have a greater grace and a greater measure of mercy to do their part to push out the spiritual forces that are there and to claim spiritual territory for the kingdom of God, allowing people to break out of their bondages, to break out of their sin and live an abundant life that just is on fire for God. So that's my prayer for you today, that you receive this prophecy with an expectation of greatness. Watch God do the impossible while we do the possible. And that's the essence of what he's calling you to do. And if you love content like this, I would love for you to become a partner of this ministry. We set up a new Patreon site where you can go ahead. We have multiple levels. You can go ahead and set up a single donation or become a monthly partner. And all the proceeds go back into the ministry where we then serve the kingdom of God going forward. God bless.